Hi guys, let's talk about Skyrim Mod Sanctuary. Um, I've had some feedback recently that made me sort of stop and pause and think about the, the future of this series and the format it takes. And specifically the feedback was regarding the type of mods I cover. Um, and you, more importantly, the lack of certain mods. People want to know, why, how do you pick the mods? Why are you always doing mods of A, B, and C? Um, and more specifically, why are you not doing mods like this? And it usually ends up being a quest mod, or some mod that sort of requires a lot of play. My Skyrim Mod Sanctuary series is not a what I would call a review series. I'm not aiming to cover the latest mods. I'm not aiming to cover the most mods. I just cover mods that I think are interesting and that I have tried out and I want to get over to you guys how the mod feels or how it plays or you know what I think of it. Not based upon my first impressions but based upon having used it. Now for an armor mod that doesn't take very long. For a texture mod it could take very little time at all. For a mod such as Frostfall that can take weeks. I mean, some of my Skyrim Mod Sanctuaries just take about six hours. Some of my videos take weeks, literally can take a lot of playing, a lot of trying, taking a lot of video footage before I feel ready to cover that mod. And this would be doubly so of mods like Quest Mods. Now this is unfortunate because of course it means basically those type of mods don't get covered as often, if at all. I, I can't always cover a quest mod. I can't always use a quest mod. It might not be applicable for the Let's Play I'm doing. For example, um, if it's a, a mod that requires a good character, then if I'm playing an evil character for the next three or four months, I'm not going to be able to cover that. If it's a werewolf mod, and I'm not playing a werewolf, I'm playing a vampire, I can't really do those mods justice because I don't like to just install them, try it out and go, oh, yeah, hey, see, isn't this cool? I want to experience it. So again, with Frostfall, when I covered that, I had played it. I knew what it felt like to have that mod install and play it. And I knew how it was, it was affecting my game, and so I could get across how I felt it would affect your game. Um, and for me, that, that trust that the Skyrim Mod Sanctuary has is important. And I can't do that with mods I have not played properly. And for quest mods, that means from beginning to end. For mods like Skyri, I mean, I don't even know when I'll be able to cover them because, of course, to really experience Skyri, you need to do three or four playthroughs with lots of different types of characters. So it's very difficult. And that is unfortunate because, of course, it does tend to give exposure to mods that are simple to cover and less to those that are more difficult to cover. This is worrying because, of course, it means mod authors might feel, well, that their work is not appreciated. Like, oh, well, what's the point of doing a quest mod if no one's going to cover it and no one's going to come and try it out? And that is a very, very valid concern and one I really would like to address. Um, you guys know the, the modding community is important to me and how my videos affect the modding community are critically important to me. Um, I, I like to think that my videos add to the community, but if I thought they did not, if I thought they were detrimental, I would stop doing it. It is, to me, uh, that is a critical importance, and it gave me a lot of pause when posting my Skyrim Mod Sanctuaries to the Nexus news page. Now, the Nexus news page doesn't actually get that many views. Um, it, it tends to be the more active members of the community who visit there. Uh, so, for example, this video got about five to 6,000 views from the Skyrim news page. Um, and so I don't think it is actually going to affect a, mod, a mod's popularity as much as people think. I, I, I think people overestimate the impact the news page has. However, I cannot underestimate the impact it has on the perception 
of mod authors, of the, the perception of the priorities of the Nexus site itself and the community. And so what I would really, really like to do now is somehow promote the kind of mods that I think should be promoted, but I do not have time to play to the level where I would like to include them in a Skyrim mod sanctuary. So what I'm thinking is a new video series. Now, obviously, I have very limited time um, and I can't spend a huge amount of time on it. So I'm thinking short videos, concise videos. I know probably a lot of you don't think that's possible with me. <laughs> anyway, I'm thinking if I see a video, if I see a mod, sorry, where it's it has a lot of potential. It's the sort of mod I would love to try if I was doing a certain type of playthrough, but I'm not. Or a quest mod that I, I'm going to try, but probably won't get round to for two months. But I really would like to give the mod some exposure in advance so people can go and try it out and, you know, make their own opinion. I, you know, I do a quick video on it. I do a very quick video saying, hey, I've seen this, say, quest mod. Um, the backstory to it is you can do A, B, and C. Um, I haven't had time to try it out yet, but it looks great. It looks where uh, the mod author seems active, whatever it is. And people find out about these quest mods, can go and try them. Um, and, you know, without compromising the Skyrim Mod Sanctuary series where, where you know I've tried those mods. So that's what I'm thinking. Some, you know, Skyrim Little Gems or Skyrim panning for gold or something, you know, Skyrim quickies, squickies, whatever. Some very short video with very little editing, very little editing, just, you know, in maybe just the desktop or maybe in game, but a very, very quick, very little editing, very rough, in, out, there you go. That's what I'm thinking. And I'm also thinking at the end of the Skyrim Mod Sanctuary videos, just before I go to the um, the credits, to the screenshots, I say, oh, and don't forget to check out the Skyrim uh, quick videos down below, one, two, and three, um, or whatever, however many there were, and they were covering these mods and list them to give these mods exposure. So what do you guys think? Crazy idea, good idea, etc. Give me some feedback Tell me what you think. All right. I look forward to hearing from you and see you guys soon.